Okay, so this is pretty embarrassing. I managed to wet my CNC bed, not my own fault. Um, you may have seen in previous videos around the workshop, we do get some leaks in here. And uh, despite, or maybe thankfully, uh, because I painted this with um, wet rot hardener, uh, this may have reduced the damage a little bit. So what I had done was accidentally left this piece of metal bar on the machine and it got wet and because the water seeped underneath it couldn't evaporate and resulted in this slightly raised damp bit. So what I'm planning to do is set the machine to actually mill this part off. After which I will use a V-bit to etch an arbitrary grid that will give me a square template to place the material relative to the home position of the machine. After setting the toolpath and area I will clear, I will use a 0.5mm feeler gauge to set the bit height, which will then mill down the same distance to remove any raised surface. I'm moving 0 0.01 of a millimeter. So currently I can't move it further in. If I move it up, it fits. Okay, so that's perfect. So the first thing that went wrong was having taken a lot more material off the back than I expected. I assumed at the time there was water damage at the rear of the machine. Essentially I want to recess a large square on the bed of the CNC itself and I'm just going to measure that space. Okay so 10 centimeters gauge, 2, 3, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's about 80. I swapped a large 16mm two flute straight bit and started a cutting job to clear pretty much as large an area as the machine can reach. And yes, I did change the bit diameter in the software. Well, it took a few attempts to actually get the machine set up right, but essentially it's taken half a mil, less than half a mil off. And the rear of the machine and the side um, ended up being, seeming to be a lot higher than the center here. That was quite surprising. I don't have a flat bar or anything like that to actually check. So it's really, Difficult to know. You know, the rule is not perfect. Maybe it's the table. I don't know. I don't. Well, I mean, the Raptor's MDF is never perfectly flat. Um, obviously, there has been water damage, which I've managed to clear up here. But in the end, I've just gone on, gone to a completely different level. I'm going to arrange to do another pass and just clear this square up completely, and then I'm going to maybe re-router the grid on using the V-bit so I'm just creating the grid in Illustrator which is 78 centimeters across I don't believe the machine will cut this out as accurately as I designed it but the error seems to be consistent along the axis so should still create intersections at 90 degrees which can then allow me to place material against them um, if not that it will look cool and slightly disorientate me So I set the machine back to the home position and changed the bit to the V-cutter 
cutting the grid at 0.3 of a millimeter into the exposed MDF. I also started painting this with wet rot hardener at the same time, if only to act up a little and cut corners. So the centre of the machine has dipped down again and this was revealed by the crisscross pattern I was engraving. I stopped the cut and decided to etch a couple lines across the x-axis so I could check the squareness of the engraving. I also used a razor to scrape the surface clear just so I could tease myself with how good the final finish could have been. As it was sort of passing doing this crisscross section, um, the last line just suddenly doubled or tripled in speed. So I'm going to turn the machine back on and just see whether something's going to go wrong, which I assume it probably will. So, so that is a lot faster. So what the hell happened there? It literally just went and then here we go. Now that doesn't look, that has just literally gone off at a fucking tangent, that's unbelievable. So what, how do I describe the problem? Mm, okay, here we go. No, something went wrong. X car stop cutting, no, spindle issue, no. Rough edge cuts, no, carving is offset. Uh, part of design was skipped. Broken bit, grinding noise, depth issue, machine won't connect. Machine. So I guess it's uh, carving is offset. And it's telling me that wiring is loose, stepper motor pulley isn't gripping, that's not a problem. The motors are getting enough current. I don't think there's, uh, the wires are loose. It literally just decided to change its axis by itself. That is really, really surprising. Because the thing that seems to happen is it's, 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 it was doing a pass and then it suddenly picked up tremendous amount of speed and just completely buggered up. So that was a bit silly. In the following video I will have another crack at levelling the wasteboard.